Hello everybody, welcome to Trainer Talk. I'm slightly more awake than I was last week, so that's good. Right? Look at um, One of my main focuses is uh, working on these puppies. So all of them have been off property so far. Um, hi. And they're doing very good. Um, pretty much all of them have no issue with traffic or trucks going by. love you so much um so their only like bit of fear i guess is just the new environment of like tractor supply or the co-op yeah um and they'll get over that really fast all right um they do a lot better when they're taken out um in twos so two trainers with two puppies um they feed off each other a lot, so if they're both like, okay, everyone's calm, this is good, then they know that uh, they're not going to be harmed or anything. Um, but we can't always do that, so a lot of the times it's just one person taking out one puppy, and they're still doing well. It just takes them a little longer for them to, you know, stand in the front of the store for like five whole minutes or more until they're like, okay, this is fine. No one is hurting me. They're also at the age where we let people pat them um, when they're out and about um, so that they know that strangers are not scary. I know, we don't want any stranger danger. Strangers are fun. Um, so we let people pat them for I don't know, a handful of weeks before we then uh, turn around and say, nobody can touch you except me, right? But that's only while they're out training. When they're here, everybody can love on them. Yeah, hi, Mr. Boom Boom. I know, no face kisses, please. Makes me break out. Yeah. Um, so today I started with uh, downstay training. And I got a handful of them um, done, and I'm impressed with them. I get them to sit on their butt first, and then um, they slowly crawl their arms down in exchange for a food bribe. So I asked John if he would get me string cheese, and he did. So Mr. Banks really loved the string cheese. And he was like, I will lie down for you all the time. That's, that's where we're going to nap? Sounds like a good place, right? Um, so I'm impressed with that. So hopefully the rest of them can learn their downstays very quickly. Um, I feel like they are growing, like, before my eyes. Just every second they're getting bigger. Um, it also kind of feels like I'm running out of time to get these kids trained, which I know is not the case. But we'll get there. Right, Birdie? My little Bert Bert. Um, one thing about these guys is they love going in the kiddie pools, which usually we only have like, I don't know, a couple from a litter, like actually willing to stick a paw in a kiddie pool, but pretty much all these guys just hop in and splash around and they just think it's awesome. It's not just a big water bucket. It also is a big water bucket, but what can you do? <laughs> um, so that's good, and I'd really like to uh, do some baths with them as well. Um, and uh, that would be better on a day when we have more people, more volunteers. Because um, if it's only one person that's able to watch all the puppies, you can't just bathe one while keeping an eye on the rest of them. Right? But that's okay. Um, we weighed all the babies on Friday. Yes, it was Friday. Um, 
Nope, it was Wednesday, uh, Thursday. Um, all of them got weighed on Thursday, and I had talked to Chris on Tuesday saying, we need to weigh all the puppies, uh, not the puppies, the um, adults, because they were going to be wormed. Um, and then no one said anything on Thursday. I didn't see any evidence that the pups were weighed, the, the adults were weighed. And so I weighed all of them on Thursday. And then um, I was told on Friday that they did weigh them all on Wednesday. So they got weighed Wednesday and Thursday. Um, so that was a lot of fun for nothing. <laughs> no, it was good for them. And then they all got their dewormer, and I did not see any evidence that there were any uh, dead parasites in their poop afterwards, so that's good. It means that there weren't any to begin with, so we just wormed them as a, you know, precaution. Um, there's snow, so much snoring out here. Yeah. Um... As for the adults, um, on Friday, I took Crusher to Olive Garden, and he was perfect. He fell asleep under the table. There were so many people that didn't even know there was a giant dog in the restaurant. Um, and he just was so good. Um, pretty much all the triples are very good at downstays. They like lying down. Um, but even when we got up, he helped me up from my chair, and then... We were walking right next to tables that had a bunch of food on them, even on the edge, and he didn't look at the food once. He was just so professional. And I'm so proud of that big boy. Uh, I'm gonna check Explore Chat, see if you guys have any um, if you guys have any questions for me. Let's see. Explore.org. If SDP were donated proceeds from the multi-million lottery, what type of pool would I construct for the pups? Um, it would definitely be one of those, uh, like, zero-point entry pools. Um, that would probably go, I don't know, three or four feet deep. Um, we don't really have anything for the dogs to actually swim in, so it'd be very interesting to see if these puppies that love splashing in the water, if they'd actually be interested in swimming. Um, we do that, and of course, you'd need to have, you know, lifeguards, so we'd all be able to swim in it too on these wicked hot days like today, so. I love dreaming like that. <laughs> A couple years ago, I came up with the you know, fantasy of, okay, I'm gonna take, get one of those, like, inflatable pools, like, that are, you can actually, like, kind of swim in, and then I'm gonna put it in Tanner's barn, because back then we weren't using it, and I just would fantasize about that. I was like, no one would know, it's fine. Never did it, obviously, but on these wicked hot days, man, I'd love a pool. I remember Pam would go um, to Hood Pond on really hot days and just jump in and then walk back up the driveway and continue working. Reload. Um, I was in with the puppies for a couple hours today, so instead of the uh, usual thunderstorm sounds that we've been playing on the TV. Uh, I've been putting on Disney movies. So, gotta expose all these kids to Disney. Get them properly cultured. Yeah. Um, so right now, Moana is uh, on pause, but it'll be turned back on later, don't worry. Um, we watched Princess and the Frog, we watched Frozen 2, we watched Encanto, so. Ooh. 
It'd be really sad if, after all this, the uh, sound actually wasn't on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm not seeing any questions. Uh, let's see. Earlier, I tried to do recall training with um, Sister and Spock in the pond, but they were not interested in playing and just wanted the food in my hands. Um, so they didn't really walk away. Um, so it wasn't really recall, it was more of like, okay, let's spoon feed these adult dogs that know their names and it's just giving them a treat. But the intent was there, right? That's all that matters. No, you guys are getting so big. Let's see. How's the training in the heat alternating with rain? Um, the heat isn't really the horrible part, it's the humidity. Um, so honestly, the rain isn't that much of a hindrance with training, other than on rainy days we don't really do traffic training. Um, but also on very hot days, we try to avoid traffic training because the dogs walk on the pavement with us and we're not going to risk burning any little paws. Um, so pretty much on hot days, rainy days, um, we just try to get into the store as fast as we can while still uh, keeping them in line as a, someone who's going to help a person eventually. <laughs> Um, so, going to uh, Denver's Indoor Sports, Essex Sports Center, Market Basket, TJ Maxx, the usual places, Home Depot, Costco. Why are you crying? Um, so, it's not that terrible <laughs> uh, with the heat. Um, I try not to complain about the heat because I prefer it to the cold and snow, um, but it does get very hot and sweaty, um, and the pups and the adult dogs, um, they're not giant, um, fans of the heat, so they'll play for a while. Dookie, you are fine. Um, they'll play for a while, but then they'll go inside and nap and lay on the cool cement floor um, as opposed to their beds so that they can try to cool down a little bit more. Um, what is the best way to redirect the pups when they get over exuberant? Um, usually <laughs> um, if they're like jumping all over you, you tell them to um, get off, um, push them off, um, and then usually just walk away from them, ignore them until they calm down a bit. Um, but for the most part, they calm down on their own. Um, they're very good puppies. Um, what training do I try to get done over the summer that is unique to the season? Um, on cooler days or earlier in the mornings, um, summer is a nice time to do traffic work. Um, I don't know, there's not, besides winter, we can pretty much do everything, um, like every season. Uh, fall, summer, and spring, we can still do traffic work at some point during the day, unless it's raining too much. Winter is pretty much the only time where it's like, okay, there's snow on the ground covering the sidewalks, um, and there's also um, ice melt that can hurt the dog's paws, so we try to avoid doing traffic stuff in the winter. Um, summer, it's I don't know. Business as usual, I guess. Um, 
probably the training would be getting used to bats. Um, <laughs> so we've been doing not a ton of bats this uh, summer, but um, way more than we have during the rest of the year. Uh, how are the pups adjusting to nail trimming? Um, they don't, they're not terrified of it. They just prefer that their paws aren't touched and that their nails aren't clipped. Um, so they'll, I don't know, walk away from me or get up and move, but they're not gonna um, throw a tantrum and scream and try to get out of my arms and whatever. So they're, they're doing pretty well. Um, it was a goal from the beginning of this litter to uh, have people touch their feet and get them used to that. And um, I've definitely been slacking a bit on the nail trimming, but um, it's still enough that they are used to it weekly or every other week. So they're getting used to it. Um, I'd love them to get to the point where they just will lie there and let me clip their nails. So hopefully that will happen. Um, I just did Duke's nails and he was absolutely perfect. So hopefully these guys can uh, live up to being like Duke. But yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I don't know if I'll be helping out with mail call later this week, but you guys will definitely see me on the camera anyway. But have a good rest of your day.